Hello world, what's up YouTube? It's Barry. So I know that I've given you two videos over the past couple weeks that have promised to fix your Black Ops 4 PC issues. And they have delivered for a couple, but not for everyone. Now I'm still having issues, or I was having issues, until I figured out what I needed to do. Now, the issue that I was having was not being able to connect to Black Ops, or I'm sorry, Blackout and multiplayer matches in a timely fashion. It would take forever. Now this trick right here that I'm about to show you fix that problem. Blackout takes 30 seconds to a minute about to get into a lobby and multiplayer depending on the time of the day and the game type takes roughly about 20 to 40 seconds which is far better like tremendously better than previously before so what's the problem then the issue that I was having seems to be a NAT issue. Now, if you don't know what NAT or NAT is, it stands for Network Address Translation. Basically, it takes your private IP of the computer that you have on your home network and maps it to your public IP address, which is the IP address that your internet service provider gives you. That is basically how that works. Now, there's other NAT that happens within the ISP's network itself and some other things like that. But I'm not going to go too deep into that because this is a tutorial on how to fix your game and make it work. But if you noticed, there's one more thing. If you noticed in the previous videos, my NAT said either moderate or open. You want to shoot for open, but moderate is not bad. And the way this works is your game talks to other games and if you have open you should theoretically be able to talk to every other person that is playing. Mine said open but it didn't act like it was open. So what you need to do there's a couple of steps and a couple of different things that should fix the issue for a couple of people. What I'm going to show you first is how to port forward and what ports to forward. So I have a Netgear Nighthawk router at home. And basically what you want to do is you want to go to port forwarding and on each router interface is different. So if you don't have a Nighthawk, you're just going to have to Google how to do it dig in your settings. For Netgear stuff, it seems to be in the Advanced tab, and then Advanced Setup over on the left side, and you go down to Port Forwarding, Port Triggering. You don't want Port Triggering, you want Port Forwarding. And what you want to do is you want to create a new one. The way you create a new one is you click Add, New, Whatever, Edit. So this is what I currently have. You set it up with the name of the service you want to do, I just put Black Ops, and then you want for your protocol, you need TCP and UDP. You have three different options, but you want TCP slash UDP. This will be both protocols, connection and connection less, which means the clients will talk to each other and they need a verification or they don't need a verification. UDP is what the game should be using, but just do TCP slash UDP. And the port that the game wants to use is 3074. So you put 3074. You can add more ports in here, but all I did was put 3074 and I typed my computer address in here. I deleted it just to keep it private and that's it. That's all you got to do on this. So I'm going to go ahead and close that. Now the other part, this is going to be severely different based on 
the firewall software that you have on your computer. I have McAfee multi-access. The only reason I have McAfee multi-access is because it is what was provided with my internet package from the ISP. So basically just open it up and I'm going to go to PC security settings click on firewall and then what you want to do is go down to internet connections for programs now terminology is going to be different for every other firewall out there the way you can test to see if it is or is not your firewall is first forward the port that you need there's a list of other ports out there but 3074 is the only thing I did and it worked for me. That might not work for you, but that worked for me. You can turn off your firewall. Now let me let me show you how to do that first. That way you can test. You click turn off and then you can see the duration of how long you want to turn it off for. So I just I turn it off for 15 minutes as it'll just turn it back on and you click this turn off button. I launched the game. The game worked perfectly. It worked like how I'm going to show you. Now what you want to do, if you have McAfee, it's going to filter everything like this. Go ahead and sort by program. Scroll down until you see Black Ops. This software is super finicky, but you want Black Ops Launcher and then click edit because you're going to edit what it does. You want to ensure that the access is set to incoming and outgoing. And then I turned NetGuard off. Now I'm not 100% sure what NetGuard does, but with it on, I kept getting issues. When I turned it off, it fixed it. So that's one software that you need to do. You need to keep scrolling down because there's one more that you want to do. You want to look for Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Do the same thing. Click Edit. Make sure Incoming and Outgoing is good. And that is set to Open to All Devices. All right. Open to All Devices. Make sure that's on there and then turn NetGuard off. That's all you gotta do, click save, and then you can exit this. Now, if you have the Windows firewall, you could do it this way. Go over to here, and then you wanna click allow an app through the firewall. And on here, you wanna basically do the same thing. So what you're going to do is you're going to click change settings and it'll ask you for your admin password and then scroll down until you see Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Make sure that private and public are checked. All right, so you want private and public checked on here. And that's what you got to do for this part. So now that that's all done, can launch the game and we'll see how quickly we get in all right so we have the game open and let's click blackout and we'll see how long this takes hopefully it doesn't make me look like a fool and that I'm just lying to you See how quick that was? That was faster than any of the other fixes. All right, so that got me straight into a lobby super fast. I don't know the exact time, 
but I will put a timer up in post-processing and we can look at it together. So after I get in here, then we'll go try matchmaking. Leaving the match just so I can show you how it works. We're going to go back, go to multiplayer, and we'll do this one. Timing it on my phone. We'll see. Wow, that was pretty close to 10 seconds. All right, so as you see here, it goes boom, 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 super quickly. That's all I've done. I don't have my VPN on. I didn't clear the cache. So I truly believe that this is the fix action if you have the same problems as me. Let's go ahead and play. Try and win this. Sweet the double and I died. Oh well. What do we get? What do we level up? Dang it. I knew better than that. One thing I have discovered is that I am terrible at this game. I would be far better if I could actually play, but. I'm able to play now, so I should be able to get far better. Do we switch spawns? I'm trying to win this game. down for my team. Now I'm kind of thinking that matchmaking is going to cause issues on itself based on the fact of this season pass BS that's happening right now. I don't know if you were paying attention, but I had a triangle. That's because I don't have the season pass. Sweet. Let's go get our stuff. Yeah, I don't have the season pass. There was no way I was going to buy it because the game wasn't working for me. What? Where did that come from? I don't even think he was looking at me on my screen. He might have, but he didn't seem like it. Now that this works, this makes me super excited. I can actually play. I like this game. I'm one of those weird people that likes Call of Duty. I like Call of Duty, but I'm not good at it. What? Oh, shoot. I got killed by that dude over there. Yep. So I like Call of Duty. I buy it every year. I don't think there's been one that I haven't purchased. I'm just not super good at it. Where am I going? Oh man. Got locked up. I do love this uh, Razer keyboard, but it is so loud. Bro, we're playing fucking. 
Kill confirmed. You need to grab these tags. That is the whole point of the game. Kill confirmed is probably my favorite mode. Nobody knows how to play. Oh, shoot. Like, I honestly think that half the time my team loses is because people don't pick up the stupid tags. Pick it up, yes, thank you. Oh man, his friend got me. I'm hoping I can at least prestige. Good job. Oh, come on. Came behind me. Not on my watch. Um, but where? Here we go. There's one. There's the other one. Got him. Yeah! That's what I'm freaking talking about. Alright, so that's about it for this video. If this worked for you, please drop a like, hit subscribe, and comment. Let me know in the comments, did this work for you? Did you come from one of my other videos where the solution did not work for you, but this did? Let me know. Let me know anything, all right? I'm looking out for you guys. I'm trying to help you. I'm trying to help me help you. So you help me help you, okay? And I got my free level. Should have got my free level. So I should be rank 25. Let's check this tier or it doesn't want to work. Um, because I'm probably clicking on the wrong thing. There we go. So now I'm 25. I got Secret Santa. Hell yeah. Now I just have to unlock melee weapons. Which I don't even know what level that is. Because I'm so far behind. But I will get there. And I will give people presents with the Secret Santa. If you want to see that. Hit subscribe. Hit the like button. Drop a comment, say Secret Santa, let's go. Till next time, have a good one, and peace out.